My name is Sherry Grund, and I live in Fernley, Nevada. I represent NSCA R, which is Nevada State Education Association, retired, and <clears throat> I'm the president of the rural group of that organization. The rurals sh have some additional problems when it comes to the vouchers. The parts that I'm concerned about are our special needs children. Private schools are not required to serve special needs children, whether it be learning disabilities, mental handicaps, physical handicaps, or even our gifted students. Private schools can choose their students. Public schools cannot. In the rurals, we have fewer resources already because we have fewer per pupil funding coming in. So I'm concerned that we will have fewer funds to take care of our kids with special needs. I'm also concerned at the high school level in the numbers of students required to have a class go for the school year. The fewer students that are there for the higher level AP classes, the fewer offerings will be offered through the schools. I'm also concerned about the idea of public tax money going to parochial schools. I'm concerned that private schools and parochial schools do not have the same accountability that public school has. So <clears throat> what do we have as proof that the monies are giving a good education <coughs> if they're not held to the same standard as a public school? I would like to speak against the ESA program. Thank you.